In this video, I'm going to show you how to create ultra smooth and captivating camera animations in just a few clicks using my Camera 3D Toolkit Pro plugin. These professional camera movements that normally take you hours, even days to create manually in After Effects, you'll be able to create them in just a few minutes. That's exactly what I'm going to demonstrate today. The link to download Camera 3D Toolkit Pro is available in the description. Once you've downloaded the tool, go to Window, Extensions and click on Camera 3D Toolkit Pro. The interface opens and you can already see that it's ultra responsive. You can resize the window however you want. Personally, I like to place it on the right side of my workspace because it's more ergonomic and optimized for my workflow. For this tutorial, I've generated several images with ChatGPT that we are going to use. Let's start with the background. I drag and drop my background into the composition. You'll notice it's a bit small, so I'm going to enlarge it. I click S to access the scale properties and increase it to 500%. Now I add my other images. These are characters with transparent backgrounds that I also created with AI. I place them in my composition using the plugins X slider to position them as I want. With the rule of thirds, always move the anchor point of your images. If you leave it in the center, your animation will be static and unnatural. By placing it on a strong point, you get more dynamic and cinematic movement. So I move each anchor point approximately to the median line of each character. If you want to frame an image on the left, move its anchor point to the left. For central framing, place it in the center of the main element of your image. Once your anchor points are positioned, click on Quick Setup. This function will automatically prepare your layers for 3D animation. Now let's configure the animation settings. Duration. By default, it's 10 seconds. I'm going to reduce it to 5 seconds for a more dynamic pace. Z distance. By default, it's about 1000 pixels. I'm going to increase it to 3000 pixels to create more depth of field. Look how convenient this is. When I increase this value, all my elements automatically space out on the Z axis. No more need to position each layer one by one. To make the movement more interesting, I'm going to slightly rotate each layer, just a few degrees to break the monotony. Now, let's define the starting point of our camera. I want the animation to start from the background and move toward the first character, like a cinematic dolly shot. I click on the background, then on Match. The camera automatically positions itself at the same position as the background. I can then slightly adjust the camera angle by selecting the null object and rotating it. This is where the magic happens. To create the animation, it's amazingly simple. I click on the layer I want the camera to move to. I click on Target. Keyframes are automatically created. I repeat this operation for each character. Click on the layer, click on target, and there you go. The animation builds itself automatically. The plugin is currently on sale at minus 40% off. It's the perfect time to get it because the price will increase soon. The download link is in the description. Often, in this type of animation, we like to add names or textual information. I'm going to create a text layer to identify each character. I type Tony and duplicate this text five times to create Jean, Jeff, Edgar, and Clef. You know, in After Effects, when you already have an animation running and you add a new layer, if you activate it in 3D, that layer sometimes disappears completely from the composition. If I had to find it manually, I'd have to dig through the entire composition, which would be a real headache. And to position each text to the corresponding character would be super complicated and not even precise. With my plugin, it's very simple. You just need to select the layer that disappeared, then select the layer that's visible in the composition and click Match. And there you go. So I'm going to use this function to properly place my text on each appropriate character. I click on Edgar, then I click on this text layer and Match. 
the text automatically positions itself at the right position in 3D space and becomes visible again. And I do this for each text to label each character perfectly. And you can then reposition each text as you wish, in front of or behind your characters depending on the desired effect. Our animation is beautiful, but let's add that little extra something that makes all the difference. Depth of field. With the blur slider, I can add the cinematic depth of field blur. As I increase the value, the person currently being filmed stays sharp, while the others gradually blur depending on their distance to the camera. It's exactly like filming with a real camera with a wide aperture. The effect is strikingly realistic. Here's an advanced technique. The opacity effect based on distance. I select all my layers except the background, then I use the opacity slider. Instead of dragging it, I recommend clicking directly for finer control. The effect makes the farthest elements fade out naturally, creating a dramatic focus on the element being filmed. Characters appear and disappear seamlessly according to their distance to the camera. And there you go. In just a few minutes, we've created a camera animation with smooth movements, professional depth of field effects, and dynamic transitions. The plugin also includes over 27 camera shake presets if you want to add even more dynamism to your animations, but for this tutorial, our smooth movement is already perfect as it is. Don't forget that if you've already purchased the plugin, download version 2.1, the latest version released just two days ago. The plugin updates regularly with new features, and once again, it's currently on sale at minus 40%. Grab it now before the price goes up. The link is right there in the description. Thanks for following this tutorial. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming tutorials. See you soon for new creative techniques.